Canada Day 2016, July 1st, Manitoulin Island, Ontario. Artist Jack White, along with his son Dylan, launches Art and Stories of the 20th Century Postcard, an interactive living art exhibit on Facebook. To promote this innovative project, they also create 169 Enjoying Postcards podcasts. Broadcast daily via Instagram to Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Flickr, Swarm, and also on YouTube. Every episode of this unique postcard odyssey is presented here for the first time in sequential order of production as Enjoying Postcards with Jack and Dylan, the movie, part one. Look at this card. Oslo, August 26, 1943. There's no address or stamp on it, so it probably came through with an envelope. But it had to somehow pass through Nazi eyes. Let me have a look at that. Dear Canadian friends, here are the stamps I promised to send you. On the envelope are all the very new series of lighter value. I hope they will reach you safe and sound. I hope the rest of your time spent in Bergen and Norway was pleasant. I really enjoyed meeting you. Did you see the Vega land when you were in Oslo? If you are interested, I would send you more postcards from it. Hoping to be hearing from you, yours... I, I have no idea what the, the name is on there. I take it somebody there was a stamp collector. Okay, I think this one's interesting because it's kind of mysterious. Dear Irene, please excuse the PC postcard. I just wanted to let you know that I did receive a call today from DD. I told him what we had discussed, that you had worked on my catalog, bibliographic refocus, and that you were reliable or reputable, methodical, and good to work with. So I hope that it might have helped. Please let me know when you're going to come down, your friend Nancy. Wouldn't it be fun to know where that story goes? Yeah. Here's a classic from that era. Maple View, March 22nd, 1910. Dear Vera, I thought I would drop you a line to let you know that we are alive. There is measles in the school and we are staying home. Have you had them? Have been fixing up our playhouse to have a good time at Easter with you. Tell Uncle and Auntie Mother would like to have them up for Easter Sunday. Cousin Edna. And then there's a little bit more on the side here. Annie is up to Brighton visiting Pearl. This is the only card I had. We have not got the measles, so don't be uh, scared. If your folks cannot bring you, come to Trenton Saturday. We will be there. All right, here's one from the original Disneyland. The happiest place on earth. 123187. There must have been a million people here yesterday. We came here to get warm, but it's cold. We'll see Bill and Marion today. Love Anna and Eva. Wonderland and Fantasy Land. Behind the Mad Hatter shop, Alice curtsies. Not without some help from Tweedledum and Tweedledee and the Queen of Hearts. Copyright Disney. That's a lot of land. Here's a neat little town of Wallace, Idaho. Nestled in these beautiful mountains. July 18, 1986. We took the tour here, riding this little shuttle to the mine. Then we took a 45-minute tour back in the silver mine, where they showed off the equipment and demonstrated how some of it was used. We are in Spokane tonight. It has warmed up and didn't rain today. It has rained seven days since we left home. Love, Boots, and Julie. And there's a little note that says, We had to wear hard hats. Julie's was so big that if she bent over, she would lose her hat. Well, you wouldn't want Julie to lose her hat now, would you? Nope. Here we are out in California um, at the Hollywood Bowl. I like the stamp being upside down. In stamp code, that means, do you remember me? Dear Ruth, almost our whole trip followed Route 66. 
really fine highway like you said. We saw Hollywood Bowl performance last night. Wonderful. Plan to return Wednesday. Pat Reed. And it says, In 1940, this beautiful illuminated fountain of the muses of music, dance, and drama was completed for the entrance to the Hollywood Bowl by the Federated Arts Projects at a cost of $100,000. Oh, I wonder what that would have cost today. I know, right? Okay, so my guess is Havana, 1933. The text on the card says, The Oriental Racetrack is one of the best appointed in the world. Races are run here every winter season and attract thousands of tourists from all over the world. I love what this guy says. Oh yeah. You know my weakness. Slow horses and fast women. Plenty of both. And then, is that Felix? Yeah, yeah. That's a beautiful F. That Very is, positive. Yeah. I wonder if he wins in it. It's completely 007, James Bond all yeah. the way. Rose Covered House in Winter, Southern California. This is really a great example of hand coloring on a postcard. Okay, and it says November 14th, 1920, Los Angeles, California. Los Angeles is the center of the green and lovely Southern California. Snow-capped mountains can be seen here for a while. Beautiful orange groves lie in the bountiful valleys below. This is surely the Golden Gate of America. Samuel. That's good in this, Andrew. It's beautiful. Yeah. This uh, postmark, U.S. Army Postal Services, April 16th, 1945. Is, it, is the war still on at that point? I would say. Hi, y'all, Bill. On my way back to the outfit now. Had a nice little rest back in Paris. It's really a sweet town. Lots of things to do. The prices are awfully high on the articles like jewelry, clothing, etc. What is D's address? Sia. And I think it's Ray? Ray. Ray. It's Ray. Just Ray. Like the doodling down here in Army. Yeah, that's pretty cute. Okay, here's one that takes you away from the mundane. 1945, El Paso, Texas. Hello, folks. Received your letter and was sure glad to get it. As you can see, I changed addresses. It's really swell here, but I sure hate to see all the wounded men here. This hospital is primarily for plastic surgery. I'll write and tell you about some of the patients. I am studying x-ray, which includes physics, osteology, and film processing. There are lots of PWs here. As ever, Sally. The PWs are the puncture wounds. Ah. Neat stamps. I oh, really beautiful. like the simplicity of the address. Compared to cultural the... College 12. <laughs> so it says, April 30th, 1959. Dear Elliot, this is a beautiful city and we are sorry to have to leave for London today. We have had delightful weather here as well as Italy and Switzerland. When we were in Rome, I spoke to the Pope about you, but he felt there's not much to be done in your case. How is the new chick? We'll be seeing you soon, Ray and Bonnie. This is the Cathedral of Reims. What a beautiful piece of sculpture. Yeah, I, I love the guy's beard. Yeah. It says on the back here, this is the cathedral which was badly damaged in the last war and then repaired, etc., by Rockefeller. Very little damage in this war. Thank you. Okay, uh, here's one from East Berlin. Here's a trip to the past. October 19th, and the stamp over here, the DDR stamp, is from 1967 because you can't read the postmarks. It says, Dear Pat, we came over to East Berlin on a tour this afternoon through Checkpoint Charlie. Will you come through the wall? It is a very interesting trip. Love, Mum and Dad. Oh, that'd be scary to me. Hell yeah. You might as well just go ahead and read this. It says that it's August 21st, 1942. Dear Helen, I am having a grand visit with Bill and Kitty in Toronto. Left home August 1st. Bill and Kay met me in Quebec, and we motored here via Montreal and Ottawa. August 6th, we went to Niagara Falls, 100 miles west of Toronto. We waited till evening when the colored floodlights were turned on the falls. It was a gorgeous sight. I'm going home the last of the month. See you then. Love, Etta Ross. Let's um, put up our picture of the Niagara Falls with the floodlights.
Well, title of the yawning boat. The yawning boat. Well, you got to read what it says here. You remember Boots and Julie from Wallace, Idaho? Yes. Okay, so check out this card. 12.50 p.m., 7.25.94. Aboard the ferry on way to Manitoulin Island. Just finished lunch. This should be postmarked on the ship. And if you look, it is MSS Chichimon. We'll ride in our tour bus across the island and stop in Sudbury for the night. All is well. Love, Julian Boots. And then in the description, it says, MS Chichimon with the appearance of Jaws, unloading vehicles and passengers at the busy recreational port of Tobermory, Ontario, Canada. She can carry 115 cars and 600 passengers at one time and is the largest ferry on the Great Lakes. Got anything to add? I have nothing to add. Awesome. Okay, so this is uh, General Grant National Park, California. Ella Falls. And then it looks like the card might have been mounted in a book or something at yeah, one time. Yeah, that almost looks like it came out of a photographic book. Yeah. Okay, so I think I can make this out. All right. You dear little child, this is one of the places you will want to see when you grow up. I think probably you look like your mother looked when she was a little girl. Heaps of love from Aunt... I don't know, Aunt something. Elmire. <laughs> <laughs> something. Yeah. It was never posted. Or maybe it did. It took it a like stamp. Yeah. It might have so. been included in a letter or two. Dry Falls State Park, Washington. September 14th, 1951. A really simple message. Having a fine time. The Andercovers. What I like is the uh, the little description of the picture. In prehistoric times, the Columbia River followed this course. Swollen by melting gray glaciers, it plunged over these 500-foot cliffs with a volume equal to 40 Niagaras. That's large. That's a really that's big... That's really large. That's a really large one. Yeah, it's, it's set up to something with Spokane. Yeah, it, it says 32 Spokane, Spokane Co. Yeah. I have no idea what it means. Yeah. might have been a price. There you go. So here we have BB Riverboats. That's got to be a modern riverboat. I, I take it. I, I take it. Yeah, no there's no wheel. stacks. I like the little tug. Yeah. Okay, and this one doesn't have a story. It just has a description. The Cincinnati Covington Fun Liner was originally built as a towboat for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineer as the Sutter. Steam-powered and propelled by a paddle wheel at her stern, she was recommissioned in May 1985 and began cruising on the Ohio as part of the BB Riverboat Fleet. Today, she is propelled by the motor vessel Captain Ben. Her overall length is 225 feet. Okay, so this is the motor. Yeah. This one says it's the flume from White Mountains in NH would be New Hampshire. Yeah, that's New Hampshire. Postmarked Holbrook, Massachusetts, August 6th, 1938. Dear Jane, having a most perfect summer with a wonderful friend. Hope you and your mother are well and having a good summer too. Don't stop your dreaming. And then probably signed Anne. Anne. I love that. Don't stop your dreaming. Yeah. And she's having the uh, with uh, having a perfect summer with a wonderful friend. Yeah, not male or female. No, just a wonderful friend. Yeah. Okay, so apparently in Amish country, this is what they call a kissing bridge. We got a whole series of these. We got a whole series yeah, of covered bridges. Yeah. And this one's postmarked Poughkeepsie, New York, 1987. Okay. And that's September 3rd. We've had a busy day. Yesterday we went to Gettysburg and York and spent the night in Lancaster. This morning we saw a movie about the Amish people. Then we drove to the country where we saw their farms and them in their buggies. We had shoe fly pie for lunch, but it didn't have much taste. We ended up at Hershey... We tell about this in our next card. Love, Bootsy. Oh, yeah, and they're going to her. They need some chocolate. They need some chocolate. Yeah, the real shoe. bad. But the shoe yeah. fly pie didn't yeah, taste and... like much. Okay, so this is the International Bridge in Sault Ste. Marie. I've been over the bridge. I can attest that it's real. It is real. It is real. I've been over it. August 8th, 1988. Hi, I'm here on a bus tour. Left home yesterday morning. Took a dune schooner ride yesterday afternoon. Went through the Sioux Locks this afternoon on a boat tour. We'll go on the train ride through Agawa Canyon tomorrow. 
and then go to Mackinac Island and then head for home. Marcella. Oh, this would be good to start our Agawa Canyons with. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of neat pictures yeah. from the Agua Canyon. The Tower, London. Awesome. Awesome. September 26, I think 1948. Dear Aunt Harriet, greetings from London, the northernmost point on my three weeks vacation. Returning to Cairo tomorrow, England is a beautiful country. Love, David. Love the handwriting. Dear Aunt Harriet. Yeah, it looks like she used a different pen. Yeah. Had the pen run out of ink. Yeah, something like that. Just had enough. He said, this one's Forest Lawn Memorial Park, Glendale, California. That's a huge cemetery, I think. The Church of the Recessional was built as a memorial to the life and works of the great soldier poet Rudyard Kipling. This church is a reproduction of the parish church of St. Margaret in Rottingdean, England, where Kipling was inspired to write his famous poem, Recessional. It says 7253. Dear Dora, you would love to visit Forest Lawn. They have a beautiful stained glass window of the Last Supper here. That's one of the ones that's in our postcard collection. Yeah. Also, a huge painting 195 feet long and 45 feet high of the crucifixion. Very inspiring. Hope you're well, Beverly Hoffman. Okay, so this has got to be a good one. They have Captain America's shield on the wall. It says Reception Center, Fort Benjamin, Harrison, Indiana. Maybe November 19, 1944. Dear Mum, I would say, I just got up. Yesterday I got a shot, but my arm doesn't hurt like I thought it would. Last night I went to a variety show and it was really good. They have a prayer meeting, and if we don't have to do something, I think I'll go. Well, that's all the news I know, so with love and kisses, William Smith. Up here? What is that? Peter? Private Smith? I guess that's Private Smith. Yeah. Private Smith. In his barracks in yeah. Indianapolis. Yeah. Here we have the continuing story of Private Smith. Cafeteria Mess Hall. The reception center, Fort Benjamin, Harrison, Indiana. And it's a little bit marked up here, but I think we can assume it's a very similar date, 1944. Probably Dear Mum. We had a long day. We got all our uniforms and sent our civilian clothes home. We got everything you can think of, and right now I have on my fatigue suit. We have both summer and winter uniforms. Tell everybody hello and send some cookies. Took my own picture in my fatigues, but it's no good. It cost 15 cents. So long for now. Love and kisses your son, William Smith. That must have been a freaking time. I, pretty heartbreaking. 1944, yikes. 1944. Here we have the world's largest outdoor organ and U.S. Naval Hospital. San Diego Exposition, California. Do we have a date? 1936. 1936. I like this. Hello, Whitey. All is well and having a swell time. Been riding through the desert in Arizona all afternoon. John Bork and family. And look, it was sent to Whitey Inks. Yeah, <laughs> read this part. Sure. World's largest outdoor organ. The world's largest outdoor pipe organ facing the plaza with a seating area to accommodate 3,000 people and daily the scene of outdoor pageants and musical events. Who knew such a thing existed? Uh, yeah. The Narrows Yellowstone River, Thursday, 9 p.m., 1983 sent from Yellowstone Park. Dear D&E, we arrived this noon at the park and don't think anything can top what we have seen so far, but we are told there are more surprises. What a spectacular place this is. We are all well, but Alice is sitting out part of the time, but I'm keeping up with the gang and doing very well. Our park tour guide is excellent, was with us this p.m. and will again join us in the uh, 9 a.m. Guess Dodd and PJ got back okay. All our love, M and all. I guess you're not allowed alone in the park. Maybe not. Might steal some picnic baskets. Yeah. I mentioned the Agawa Canyon, so this is one of our Agawa Canyon cards. And you remember Boots and Julie? They're at it again. They're at it again. 9-10-93. Written on board the train at Agawa Canyon. Have a two-hour stop here. 
walked around and visited gift shop, but got back on the train. It's cold. The ride was beautiful. Went to Mackinac Island yesterday. Lots of rain and cold and windy. Not much rain here in Sault Ste. Marie. Some sunshine. Leaving in the morning for Wisconsin. Love, Julian Boots. There they go. There they go. This one's uh, Trinity Church, New York City. The year is 1912, and it's kind of written in the vernacular of the time. Dear Miss Temple, I suppose you have sometimes thought of me since having moved away from Waverly. That's Waverly, Nova Scotia. Okay. I have often thought of you and the many pleasant times I have spent at your home. I expect the weather is getting too cool to play tennis. We've been on the go a great deal here lately. I had a very rough time from Portmouth to Boston and was very seasick. I hope you have been well and enjoying good health. Give my best regards to all that ask about me. Sincerely, Bertha Peterson. Everybody on their postcards talks about the weather. Yeah, it's like there's one common thread. Yeah. Mount Baker from Baker Lake, Washington. Postmark Ferndale, Washington, May 28th, 1940. Dear Rammy, one of our neighbors brought us a big dish of strawberries, so I made some strawberry shortcake in our new stove. Boy, are the strawberries ever big and have a wonderful, delicious taste in this state. Paul and Bob built a shed for the goat today. Then it signed something, I don't know, the person's name, Love Christ. I liked having built the shed for the goat today. Yeah, for the goat. For the goat. I like the front of that. That's a beautiful picture. Isn't that a beautiful yeah. picture? I love that. So here we got Parker House, Boston. It's part of a collection of these hotels. Oh, drawings of these hotels. Drawings yeah. of these hotels. We should post those up. Yeah. Okay, uh, postmark Boston, Massachusetts, uh, 1946. Here we are in Boston, like it here very much. Saw Plymouth Rock today, just got home from a boat ride on the Atlantic Ocean. We'll tour the city tomorrow, ending up at Lexington and Concord. Sunday we go to Augusta, Maine, from there to Canada, Niagara Falls, and home. Love, Vi. No mention of weather. No mention of the weather. Oh my goodness. Talk about mundane photographs. Can you guess where this is? No idea. Woodstock, Vermont. And it's got a World Cup USA 94 stamp on it. Yeah. So I'm thinking around 94. There's something out there that says 97, but I'm thinking around 94. Hi, Diana. I hope you like this card from Woodstock, Vermont. I mainly collect cards of libraries. I also like floral clocks, escalators, and Masonic-related cards. Uh, Maybe Marjorie something? Yeah. People do like collection of cards. Yeah, this one goes with our video about the lady from uh, Newcastle that yeah. did the card collection. That's the one. That's the one. Hey, check it out. We got some fan mail. Feel like you need a really good jolt in the morning? This is Ikea, and it definitely does show you the changing faces of postcards. Jack and Dylan, greetings from Ottawa and my favorite place to hang out. Love the postcard project Hearts and Hugs Ruthie. And it's even dated... 8 1916 and we know that it arrived on the 25th so it took about six days to get here from ottawa we've got another piece of fan mail don't run with scissors don't play in traffic another ikea must be one of those reverse psychology things jack and dylan lol 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 love this card enjoy the lazy streets of gore bay pink hugs ruthie and this one's eight twenty two sixteen, so we got it on the twenty sixth. That's four days. And what's the L O L? That means laugh out loud. Decent. I got here a really beautiful photograph of Victoria Gardens in Brighton. It's got a five thirty eight on it, so I think it's part of a series, and it was sent in nineteen thirty seven. Yeah, check out the double postmark. It was sent from London on the 24th of May and then received in Redondo Beach on June 5th. 12 days to cross the Atlantic, and that was like, what, two years before you were born? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Really simple message. Dear Ida, on a seven days tour and having a fine time, seeing whales at last, hope all are well. Sincerely, J. Dean. You got to check out the stamp. It's a coronation stamp from 1937. Oh, wow. That would have been George VI? Yep. 
and Liz. All right, here's one from 1907. I take it's Paris, the Statue of the Republic. And it's written over the actual statue here. I wrote you from Paris before leaving somewhere, but as I did not uh, get an answer, I am trying again. Hope to see you this winter in New York. My address is 335 Lexington, New York City. We are all sailing from here on the 10th of August. Kind regards from Esther. It's called Rough Sea, and it's at Hastings. Look at the way. How would you like to be walking along the sidewalk and get a soaker like that? You'd get wet. Mm. It's on the back, it says postcard dash Great Britain and Ireland. Rating space for inland use only. So before the era of proper divided backs, this is 1905. Yeah, 1905. It kind of looks like it was written at C, too. Yeah, I know. Dear Elise, hope you are quite well as I am. We'll be home soon with love, Ida. This is a beat-up old cart. It's probably hand-tinted. It's the CPR Windsor Station in Dominion Square, Montreal. And the date's 19 what? 23. Okay. It's all oh, just it's published by the International Fine Arts Company Limited, Montreal. Mm -hmm. And it's numbered. Number 828. Dear Miss Aitken, Hilda, Alice, and myself will be down on the mail train Saturday. So I would love you to meet us if you could. Hoping you were keeping well. Love, Gertrude. Wow. There you go. Gertrude, Hilda, and Alice. There you go. This has got to be one of my favorite postcards ever with this picture. Some sort of renaissance fair or something going on. That's just a wonderful piece of art with the little pavilions and the guys with the swords and stuff. Oh, look at it. It's got a map. 1965. And it's saying what? Dear Miss Morgan, the Reading Station is rather complicated. Each train has its own platform. Would you please make your way to the street and wait by the door to the ticket office? I will park here in a red minivan. Did they have minivans in 1965? I guess in... <laughs> they must have. In Reading they did. Yep. What a great map. I love it. Oh, at the very bottom it says Shakespeare's Cotswolds. Cotwold Games by John Hugo. One of a series of decorative screens designed by John Hugo for a Shakespeare exposition in 1964. Oh, that's just wonderful. That's amazing. The front of this is a map of the Caribbean, which I take it is Columbus's route by the sailing ships. Check out the back of this. It's typed. It's typed. Tuckahoe, New York, 1959. One of those advertising cards they send out to doctors like the sorcerer. Yes. Yeah. So many physicians enjoyed our last two trips. We've decided to continue our travels following the route of Columbus through the beautiful Caribbean. Since eating so many new but wonderful foods in strange lands, I've put on weight, and my doctor has prescribed methadrine as an anorexiant. What the? Anorexiant? BW and company. P.S. We're flying BAOC to Jamaica. My baggage is 15 pounds overweight, and unfortunately, I'm 20 pounds overweight. Look at Lincoln. He looks like he's smiling up there. I, yeah, he's <laughs> grinning about something there. Yeah. The friend of this one has a, maybe a couple of kissing cupids. One of them's got a sword, so I don't know what he's planning. It's hand painted. It's hand painted. All right, it's 1933, and there's a stamp on it. Help the unemployed buy a human interest bond. Yeah, isn't that? It's Canadian. <laughs> yeah, it's Canadian. It's going to the Quaker Oats Company in Peterborough. And despite the smear, I'm pretty sure it says, please send me a premium catalog. <laughs> there you go. And there it's you go. from Victoria. Victoria, British Columbia, 1933. It looks like a stamp collector got to this one first. September 12th, 1978, Hanover, Ontario. Dear Mona and Harold, thank you so much for the birthday cards and the money. Angela had a really nice birthday. Hope you enjoyed your trip to Nova Scotia. We are wondering if you were home again. Michelle is happy to be back at school and she likes her new teacher. Take care, love, Doug, Jay, Michelle, and Angela, XX. XX. And it's got a postal code. That's uh, something I haven't seen lately. Not very many of those. No. And, oh, the front's really a whimsical little signed, it's sign painting. 
Yeah. Yeah, it says A Noel, so it's an artist signed card with yeah. the little patchwork quilt around the outside. That's, that's cute. That's very nice. All right, we're in Leicester, England, I guess January 12th, 1904. And on, on the back, it says this space may be used for communications when for transmission in the British Isles. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing written in it. No, it cost a whole half penny to send, and they put the message on the front. It's the Castle Gateway, Leicester, and then it's a little short message, Will it be convenient if I come over Thursday, Stella? There's your text message. This one says, Prosit Naya, which is Happy New Year in German. And it's signed, Mein Lieb Karl. But the really neat thing is that it's a really heavily embossed card. Is that a pig? I guess it's a pig and a ladder, and I'm not sure what's over the guy's shoulder. Looks like a trumpet? Could be a trumpet, <laughs> maybe a cat of nine tails under his arm. The date says December 30th. It could be 1908. What's on the back? Very nice script, but just the address. That's it. It's a good postmark. Souvenir postcard, August 15th, 1913. A one-cent Canadian stamp from Petitang, Wachine, Ontario. This place is across the bay from us. Having a delightful time, often think and talk about you. Viola, you should see it here, Tot Smith. And the front? Oh, the boat. The boat we came up on. Northern Navigation Co.'s Wabick at Sansui, Georgian Bay, Canada. Photo by J.W. Bald. It yeah, looks a lot like the Norisle. It's a wonderful old steamer. This is a great little watercolor of a cat sitting in an open door, and it's a signed piece of art. Artist sign card on the back. It's got a Buffalo Bill stamp. Okay, we got Buffalo Bill, Louisville, Kentucky. July 29th, 1990. Check it out. It's really easy to read handwriting. Carolyn, thank you for the lovely luncheon Thursday. It certainly was a treat to get away from my lunchbox routine. The company was great, too. If you need your book, let me know. I'm finished. Karen. Well, that's an easy read. I love that. Yes. This was Milano, Italy, 1925. 1925. Dear Little Bells, have you started back to school yet? I am glad that you are having a good time with Peter and Dempsey. Be a good girl until I get home and I'll buy you something nice. Love to you and Mama, Daddy. It's to L.A., California. Oh yeah, Los Angeles. Yeah. And then on the front? Do you know what this baby is doing? How strange I, that is that? That is a strange thing to ask your child. I guess so. In a strange picture, too, I don't know what the guy's doing with the corn, and it looks like she's leaning on a saddle, so I have no idea what this baby's doing. This is a wonderful old card. Probably hand-tinted and beat up like hell. I love the reflection of the bridge in the water there. It is beautiful. It says, Montreal, Victoria Jubilee Bridge, length 9,144 feet, Cost of construction, and I'm not sure to translate it, maybe $9 million? It looks like it. Could be. Oh, look at the handwriting. Isn't that great? Yeah, beautiful. It says uh, 72507, so 1907. Dear cousin, have not heard from any of you for a long time. Hope you are all well. When are you coming to see us? Just commence hang and have no help. Love, hi all. And I don't know the person's name, but that's a cousin that can call you up and want some help. I can understand that of their hand. This is another hand-tinted uh, Moro Castle, Santiago de Cuba. Check out the date, April 16th, 1911. With kind regards, Mr. W. Humbeck, to a Miss something Steininger in Brooklyn, New York. Beautiful handwriting. One centavo stamp. Uh, the, the picture looks like something out of the Count of Monte Cristo. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, that's the, nice. The unassailable fortress. Yeah. Well, that'd be hard to attack. Yeah, kind of. All right, here we're in the Cascade Mountains of Washington with another, I take it, hand-tinted postcard. It says on the side, the Lawman and Hampford Company, Seattle. What a barren picture. Yes. On the back, we got Seattle, Washington, 1907. Dear Mother and Father, arrived here this morning only 23 hours late, but had a fine time on the road. Frank met me, so am all okay. We'll drop a card from Billingham when we get in there with lots of love. Emery? 
Yeah, check this too. After March 1st, 1907, this space can be used for a written message using a one cent stamp. Oh, that's when they changed the. That's when postal. they change it. Yeah, and there's your Benjamin Franklin one cent stamp. Oh, nice. I believe by the postal stamp, it's 1930 in Amsterdam, Holland. It says Amsterdam, November 2nd. Yesterday we went to Volendam and the island of Marken, where we saw many costumes like this. The children are adorable. Holland seems very prosperous, and everything is rather expensive. Love, Eleanor and Lenny. Check out this. Oh, wow. They saw lots of costumes like that. Holy cow. And there's your classic windmill. Gotta love it. Here's your classic view card. Somewhere in the Italian Alps. Oh, it's the Lady Atkins. July 18th, Solda, Italy. We were so sorry you weren't able to come and see us when you were in England. We wanted to ask W again, but one of our ceilings fell in, which rather cramped our style before we left London. We're here in the mountains, 6,000 feet up, the only English-speaking people in the village, for a short holiday before going on to Salzburg Festival next month. Best of luck for the Hereford Festival. We should be back in London then and may manage to come down for a day of it. We have some nice engagements for the autumn, including two in Leeds and Bradford. With love to you all, Beatrice. I gotta wonder who Lady Atkins is. I wonder who Lady Atkins is in Worcester. Yeah. Okay, for a one cent stamp, Dan's Rock between Cumberland and Frostburg, Maryland. Dated August 29th, 1951. Dan's Rock, towering 2,900 feet above sea level and one of the highest points in Maryland, furnishes a view of three states over 900 square miles of area. Cumberland, Frostburg, and the Upper Potomac Valley may all be seen. A hard surface road makes it easily accessible, and Maryland's highest fire tower is located atop it. It says Tuesday afternoon. That's the Moody Blues. <laughs> Moody Blues. Dear folks, 3.30 and we are 335 miles from home. Everything okay. Traffic isn't bad at all. Love, Milo. This is a black and white picture by I. Rheingold. And I'm not sure what that is. This would be one of those photo cards where you could scratch your name into the negative with a special tool. I'm not sure about all this. It looks like it's partially in German, but I, I get these pieces. Munich Opera Festival... Uh, wonderful orchestra, marvelous ceremony, the water around and above the rock on this card dripples and flows absolutely naturally. Something that looks like German, and then, and the bass clarinets were so perfectly beautiful that I wept. Munich, Friday the 8th. M.D. Mm. Brockman? Yeah, and look at how the address has been crossed out. Yeah, it's like it was... Uh, Somebody had a second thought? Some with that return to sender? <laughs> yes. Here we have a watercolor of some peonies, I take it. It looks like there's some bluegrass in the background there. Uh, it's got a Kentucky address. And August 24th, years kind of missing, it says, Hi, sorry I missed you. My son-in-law is working in Atlanta, so I spent 10 days with Frances. She brought me home and stayed for a few days. Come back again. I enjoyed your visit. My sister and Francis surprised me with a birthday party on May 30th. Also, Lola, Mary Jo, and a friend from Nashville at the X Inn. Love, I think that's Brenda. And look here, Hallmark card. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a Hallmark. Hallmark. Yeah. yeah. Very good. Okay, this is from Badgeworthy Valley. Hand colored. Kind of a view card. Yeah. It says, August 12th. If the trip continues to be the crescendo that it has been thus far, I shall have no words left. We have spent the day in Lorna Dune country, which the picture shows, and is almost up to our Grinwald Drive. And then our Killarney trip a week ago was fine also. Devonshire is the worst wonderful combination of mountains and sea. Oh, I wish you could visit England. It is fascinating. You know that we are with the Smiths in London, with love to you, M-E-I. Got no date? Says August 13th, but can't see a year on it. Can't see a year. No, sometimes they put it in, sometimes not. Yep. This is a picture of the Parliament buildings, Victoria, B.C. And it's also a rare private postcard. 
I have seen no date. Can you see a date? No, there's no date. The stamp's been borrowed. It says, Cher Cousin. Oh, well, I'm not such a good French woman that I will forget all my English. It comes more naturally than French. Hope you are well and all. With love to all, Bella. Love the handwriting. Yes, it's readable. This is Bouillon, the Chateau, um, so the back of the tunnel? The back of the tunnel at the castle. Oh, it's the Lady Atkins again. The Lady Atkins is from Belgium, 21924. We have had four glorious days, but woke up this morning to a deluge. Had a fair interval in which to see the castle. Now it is pouring again. Tomorrow, if fine, we walk to... Know, somewhere. To somewhere. If not, we train to... Maybe somewhere else? Somewhere, Palais something. Our average is 16 miles a day. The most wonderful scenery, river, hill, and forest. Love from us both. B-E-A? Or R-E-A? R-E-A. Well, this is a black and white view of a large mountain. Hamalif. Tunisia? Is Tunisia, that what it yep. is? The postcard, the stamps. Oh, we got another mm -hmm. Lady Atkins. And another Here Lady Atkins. Ham and Leaf, 27, 11, 26. Have been here 10 days with a trip to Karen, somewhere, where I rode a camel. Going to Biskra on Monday for three days and home via Algiers. Must be in Cambridge on the 16th. Go to must be another place named Lee on the something to correct papers might take W on return journey hope you are all well 70 degrees here last week but now 64 much love and it does look like a B E A yeah, e -A. yeah same as before same it? as before this is a great photograph of a 1908 REO Rio Speedwagon I think it, Maybe. it was a uh, Auto insurance? What's it say? say? Maybe your auto insurance is as old-fashioned as this car, when you could have modern Safeco, the new plan that's saving real money for safe drivers, along with better, better protection. Better protection. See us for the details about Safeco. Yeah, I had a hard time cleaning this one. Read that if you can. Dear Stevie, suddenly got the idea I should visit my nephew. Please tell the girl something will write them soon. Uh, and maybe thinking about everybody to pray between now and then something for more priests and brothers. Is that their name for insurance salesmen? I wonder. Gonna help me. <laughs> All my best to your mom and dad. Work hard at school. See you, Uncle Ben. No date. So here we got another car. A 1910 something or rather. I can't read that. Can't quite read that. No. Another ad for Safeco. It gives yep. you the idea it could be related to State Farms. Yeah, as far as far as this one says, Dear Paul, hope to see you one of these days. Have been very busy since I last saw you in September. Went seven thousand miles looking for fellows interested in the priesthood and brotherhood. Does that mean he's looking for insurance salesmen? Prayers help more than mileage. So help, Uncle Ben. I'm not sure what that man's looking for. I'm not sure either. Here we have a nice black and white from the real photo card era. On the front it said, Us, in the ruins of Valenta, Malta, 1926. Dear old kid, this is Vienna 522, can't tell you how sorry I am to have missed Milano. Dad suddenly changed his mind and decided to try and find some warmer weather, and we were on our way to Berlin. We'll work back to Switzerland and might see you yet. He is giving the party, so we must follow. I did want you to meet D, but this picture will have to serve. She is as good as she looks, and I am very much in love. Although married almost four years, we have a very wonderful little two-year-old girl. Send me a card to American Express Paris. Best ever, Ben Tally? I looks like Ben Tally. <laughs> looks like a Ben Tally. So this is King Charles Tower in Chester, England. And the date is 1966. Hi folks, summer's nearly over. Hope you had a good one. We are still busy and enjoying life. See you soon. Keep the coffee pot warm. Ursula. Jesus, that could be from anybody. That sounds good. <laughs> anyone to anywhere. Yeah. This is Sonora's State Capitol Building. 
with the Bell Mountain in the background, and it's a beautiful colored linen. I like the address, Hughes Aircraft Company, Culver City. Would that be our um, Howard? Howard Hughes. Another card for your collection. This is a very interesting and typically Mexican town. The ghost ranch in Tucson was very nice. We are staying at Hotel de Anga here and going to Grey Mass tonight. SB Lutz. Sounds like it. Wow. Okay, here we got one from Boots Pre Julie from Fort Myers, Florida, 1985. Sanibel. 41885. This has been some day. We were given a couple's pass to visit an Interval International Resort. If we visited, we would get a gift certificate for $20 to one of three outstanding restaurants. We thought we would never get away. They really pressured us, but we got a real good dinner. Filet mignon and crab legs for five seventy-five each. We were having lots of fun on the beach. Love boots. And believe it or not, the picture on the front, I've actually heard this story before, but it was on the completely other coast. There you go. Here we got a linen card from Rockefeller Center, New York City. On the back, it's got a tax, what's it say? Tax charges two cents. I think that's, that's like postage, oh, oh yeah, see it's postage, postage due. due. Yeah. yeah, it's a postage due from 1939. Yeah. While I saw the USA at last, and was in New York for two days, three to be correct. Went to the World's Fair, most impressive. Had an ice cream at Sutcliffe's and found the city as you said I would, altogether stupendous. Went to one burlesque show just to do things properly. Now at Gettysburg, en route for Washington. Very best wishes from your other shipmate, David. That's really nice. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. This is a hand-tinted card from Venice. We have no idea the date. Yeah, the postmark's kind of hard to find. Many thanks for your letter, Dot. I am sorry that I will not be able to take you for a few swims in the ocean. Later on, perhaps. George. That's romantic. Are you ready, then? Yeah, we're already rolling. All right. This is a holiday card from Milan, Italy, 1925. March 18th. Dear Bets, you see the rabbits lay Easter eggs here in Italy, just like they do in Los Angeles. I think the old chicken in this picture is asking the mama rabbit how she lays such pretty eggs. The chicken's eggs are always plain white. Every rabbit here has a big colored egg for a house. These children are lucky to be able to see the rabbits in their houses where they lay the eggs, because usually they run away off to where no one can find them. I hope the rabbits lay some eggs in Uncle Joe's yard for you on Easter morning. I think they will if you're a good girl. Think of Daddy a lot because he loves you and Mama. Daddy. I think we got a lonely Daddy. I think so. Well, now this is a beautiful black and white of Melrose Abbey from the southeast, it says. It's got a George 5 stamp. It's, it was mailed 10 p.m. July 7th, 1913. Says July 7th, Melrose. As I sit here now, I can look right over into lovely Melrose Abbey, as the quaint little hotel where we are staying is next to it. We were also at Abbotsford this afternoon. Wonderful time. Love you. A2. A2, A I A2. I don't know who A2 is. To Mrs. G.W. Sharp. It's a. Uh, Shoo. Really beautiful picture of Berlin. That's fantastic. Yeah, probably hand-tinted. I would think so. Dear Cousin, Just a line to let you and Auntie know we are all well. They had all been very good while I was away. Uncle Frank has been here nearly a week. He is quite natural, but not very strong. Mother is in H this week. I wonder if that's Hamburg. This seems to be a very cold night. Has Douglas arrived home yet? Be sure write to me soon, wishing you all every happiness through 1912. With love, Cousin Susie. And somebody took the stamp, and it's from the, what, Valentine series? It says Valentine series. Hmm. This is a uh, hand-tinted, traveling through orange groves, California. 
I love that big engine. Puente, April 6, 31. Our dear Eric, has it stopped snowing on PEI yet? What a wonderful winter you had. We're having lovely sunny days. I wish you could see the roses in bloom, hedges of them. They are gorgeous. Other flowers blooming lovely too. Received mother's letter. Will write soon. Hope your ankle is quite strong again. How did your concert come off? Hope you are all real well, dear boy. Best of love to all, Becky. We don't have a date in this one. It's a black and white from Granada, Alhambra. And I take it it means the patio of lions? Looks like it. Going from Spain to Long Island. Dear Henry, this place is more beautiful than any we have seen. I hope you can visit it some day. We rode all day on the train from Madrid to get here late last night and stay three nights here. Much love, Mother. Here's the Hollywood Bowl. I take it it's the Easter sunrise services by the crowd that's there. And I love the full parking lot of cars back. I love what the colorist has done with the uh, dots of color in the audience. I guess there's lots of people with blue hair. On the back it says, Tahunga, California, October 28th, 1948. I'm enjoying a couple of months visiting in Santo Paulo and North Hollywood, Maine. Oh, and apparently the Hollywood Bowl is also the site of Symphonies Under the Stars. Are we on? We're on. Here's a decal-edged card, Autumn Splendor. We'll use that in our fall colors. Sure, we're going to put that up after Thanksgiving. We've got a whole week of autumn colors. On the back, it looks like it was sent from somewhere falls in Ontario. And it says, Hi, the weather is warm. I am having fun swimming and lying in the sun. I went for a boat ride with my cousin Susie. It was fun. Love, Bonnie. Can't quite make out the year, maybe 1975. So here we got another Hollywood Bowl. This is our infamous Symphony Under the Stars. October 22nd, 1947. It has been a nice trip out here. Sure a lot to see. Enough to spend the winter, but I guess we won't. Arlene and Howard. I wonder which one of them was disappointed. We got kind of an interesting decal edge card here. Can you guess where this bridge is? <laughs> it looks confusing as hell to me. It's massive. Ah, it's called the Giant Cooper River Bridges, connecting Charleston and Mount Pleasant, SC. So that'd be South Carolina. South Carolina, 1976. 1976. Hello, Fred and Ruth. My brother and his family are all well and say hello. The weather here is almost as cold as it was in Louisville when I left for here. I'm having a good time, but I always do when I come to Charleston. Hope you two are in the best of health, Mike. Lots of stamps in this one. Lots of stamps. Birth of the Nation postmark. Yeah, sent out to Charleston, South Carolina, 1976. We got another uh, from our Fall Color series here. Can you guess where this one is? Flip it then. <laughs> Indian summer on the Clark Fork of the Columbia River, between Drummond and Missoula, Montana, near where gold was first discovered in the state. It was sent out of Missoula, Montana in 1956 or 8. And it's typewriter. It's ty How do you put a postcard through a typewriter? Carefully. Mm. How does it feel to have been married for 30 years? It'll probably be 30 more before I get married. I'm waiting for you to answer my last letter so we can get this mail thing coordinated. Love, Luann? I think so. Nice stamp of a bridge. Oh, yeah, that's really nice yeah. there. Oh, it's this bridge that's the stamp. Yeah. Oh, wow, picture in a picture. All right, another for our Autumn Color series. Can you guess where this is? I don't think it's Ontario. Definitely not Ontario. Long's Peak... Altitude 14,255 feet, framed by aspens in Rocky Mountain National Park near Estes Park, Colorado. But look at the postmark, it's Loveland, Colorado, 1952. Dude Corral? Dude Corral. What does okay. that mean? <laughs> Huber says you're nuts to stay in Illinois. Best regards, Larry, Jenny, and Linda. Oh no, Larry, Jerry, and Linda. I believe this is our first Boots and Julie, Seattle, Washington, July 23rd, 
1986. How would you like to drive over this bridge? We saw it on a tour yesterday. 220,000 pounds of floating concrete. We ate lunch in the top of the Space Needle. Then we took a two and a half hour tour, which turned into a three and a half hours. We are going to be able to park our car tomorrow in a fenced in lot with a guard on duty 24 hours, about half a block from where we are staying. Love, Bootsy and Julie. Now apparently this is the Evergreen Point Floating Bridge, Seattle, Washington. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, at the bottom it says, hope things are okay with the job. Well, there you go. Our very first Boots and Julie. This has got to be a hand dented. One of the Thousand Island Beauty Spots, Canada. The postmark looks like Gananoque, Ontario, 1929. Dear Ellen, these islands sure are beautiful. I first wound up in Canada after a trip around them. Carl. And it's going to Reading, Pennsylvania? Reading, Pennsylvania. Red, oh, Reading, Pennsylvania in the USA. Yeah. All right, we got another autumn colors, Decolet Edge. And I guess you're supposed to guess where it is. That it could be anywhere. Could be anywhere. Let's find out. Greetings from Beaverton, Ontario, Canada. Postmark 1972. Hello, Jean. I hope you enjoyed your time at the cottage. We are having a great time here and it is simply scorching. Hope it continues. Meant to leave a note but was rushed. Love, Margan family. Well, here's a fall color. Um, no guessing this. Greetings from Nokomis, Illinois. Postmark says 1939. Dear Nell, got your letter. Will send one sometime? Mother is mostly as usual. Always with her turkeys over a hundred. Went to town Saturday night. Have a lot to tell you when I see you. I haven't much to write, so I'll close with love. Ellen. Wasn't that just tantalizing? Yeah, um, I wonder if the woman's a hundred years old or her. She's got over a hundred turkeys. Or she likes to cook her turkey until it's over a hundred degrees. <laughs> All right, here we go. Greetings from New York. It's got a New York taxi, a hot dog stand. Empire State Building, Statue of Liberty, and a flag, United States of America. All the important stuff. And it looks me, what? It looks like an ad? Hi there. I'm having the time of my life here in New York City. Yesterday I climbed up the Statue of Liberty and looked down over the harbor. Today I went to the top of the Empire State Building in an elevator, thank goodness. The view was amazing. What a skyline. The food's great in America. I like the hot dogs the best. I'll write again soon. Traveling Tim? I, I kind of doubt the authenticity of Traveling Tim. Uh, yeah, that is questionable, and I have no idea what that card's about. No, maybe part of a series? All right, here we got Bootsy and Julie. Orlando, Florida, April 13th, 1988. We got to Lake Buena Vista last night, and today went to Epcot. The motel had a shuttle bus, so we didn't have to drive, which was fine. Of course, it rained off and on all day, but we had our umbrellas and our jackets with the hoods. We saw lots of shows, ate at a restaurant where we could watch the large fish while we ate. We were below the water level, going back tomorrow. It's cold here, Bootsy and Julie. Hey, Bootsy and Julie had hoodies in 1988. There we go. And apparently they're visiting Spaceship Earth. Ride a time machine through the 18th story geosphere, where an audio animatronic story of communication comes to life. Presented by AT&T. All right, now we got Jules and Boots, and they're in Clearwater, Florida, April 8th, 1988, and they're at the restaurant. Kapok Tree Restaurant, the Casino, Italian Crystal Chandeliers and murals depicting each month of the year are just some of the highlights of this dining room. Had dinner here tonight, waited one and a half hours to be seated, and there were four big dining rooms. Got here early and visited two couples who were neighbors and were on the Alaskan cruise with us, called Bill and Charlotte Moore at Tampa, and will stay there tomorrow morning on our way south. More later. Love Jewels and Boots. Maybe Jewels and Boots now like casinos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Sunday, June 21st, 1970, Oslo, Norway. The Viking Ships Museum. This apparently is the Osberg ship. That is one beautiful ship. That is a longboat there. Dear Laurel and Clark, here we are in Oslo. You would love this. Leave Monday for Arlsberg, Denmark, then Germany, gradually getting closer to home. Never had this heat for a hundred years, 85 to 90 degrees. Give our regards to Mom and Dad, Frida and Al. I take it heat's uh, unusual in Norway. It could possibly be. I like the Norway stamp with the knot on it. And yeah. The, and the deckled edge card's nice, too. This appears to be a linen card. The Washington Monument, Washington, D.C. 6-8-1950. Washington Monument. A stupendous shaft of granite. 555 feet high, it is 55 feet square at the base, 34 at the top, and terminates in a pyramid of pure aluminum. Dear folks, maybe tonight we'll go on the moonlight cruise. My cold's getting okay. Everything is beautiful here. I'd like to stay longer. Tell Penny, quote, hello, Dorothy. Hire the handicapped. It's good business. For the U.S. Election Day, I thought it would be fun to put up some pictures of Washington. So here we have the U.S. Capitol building in Washington, D.C., and it's postmarked 1950. The message says it all. Washington, D.C., what a madhouse. Dave. And if you look really closely, I think it might have been sent to members of a post office staff. Yeah, care of post office, Fremont, Ohio. There you go. Here we have an aerial view of the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., this is something you're definitely not going to see photographs of much anymore. And I didn't know the Pentagon was the largest office building in the world. It apparently has over 93 acres of usable space, over 30,000 employees, and cost over $31 million. Postmark from Washington, 1955. Hello, we got to see this from a distance today and that's probably all. Sorry I couldn't deliver your message. We saw Cinerama tonight and it was really wonderful. Yours, Ruthie. I doubt you get very close today. Sure wouldn't. July 17th, 1969. I'm not even going to guess at anything besides Troll Heyman. Dear Izzy, we stayed in a farmhouse last night, twice the size of this, but with grass roof and all. They had told us in broken English that it had been built in 1880. Most of the furniture was handmade with some beautiful wood carving. The whole family took to us and insisted we come in and have hot coffee, cheese, and homemade goodies with them last night before bed. Such warmth and kindness seems quite typical in Norway. We are nearly at Trindheim, still 300 miles short of the Arctic Circle, so I don't think we'll make it that far north this time. Love, Susan. That is one beautiful picture. That's a beautiful and, picture. What an and amazing it's building. And it's signed. Wow. Is it going? It's okay. running. Beautiful fountain on Capitol Plaza by night, Washington, D.C. Now, this is a contrast from our madhouse. It's July 29th, 1935. Regards from this most beautiful of cities, Paul Vich. Oh, buy U.S. savings bonds. Ask your postmaster. So here we got Boots and Julie in Panama City Beach, Florida. It's 19 what? 88. April 6th, apparently it's a Tuesday, and it says we went over this bridge. Aerial view of the Hathaway Bridge. We've been out all day. Bill and Effie have taken us all around seeing the sights, and we have walked and walked. After lunch, we visited the sand dunes and walked about two miles on the beach there. The weather is beautiful, and so is the scenery. Bill and Effie have a beautiful apartment, leaving here in the morning, Boots and Julie. I've actually been to Panama City Beach, Florida, and it is beautiful. Here we have Hammerfest, Norway. It reads, hi, hello from the top of the world. Have had a good trip. Wish you all the best. Irma, and I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. Not sure about that. I love the squirrel on the stamp. <laughs> yeah, the that's long good. ears, that's good. Death Valley National Monument, California. Bad water. Bad water nearly 300 feet below sea level and the lowest point on the North American continent. There's a little note that says Ma, Pa, 
and M are all here in Death Valley. And it's morning, AM, 1935. Dear everybody, here we are for a few days. This is my vacation, and I have to ask for all of us to be excused for not writing to Levine Birthday? Love Toot? After all, they are in Death Valley in October, and this is a holiday. That might explain something. Queen Street Gorge, Highway US 60 and 180. And look at that car. That dates it in 1936. Maywood, California. We got out here to eat our Thanksgiving dinner. Here are some of the mountains we came over. We drove 80 miles through them. They sure are dangerous. We were up 4,600, and then they've written 100 again, feet. Pretty damn high. The road is just wide enough for two cars to pass. Sure is dangerous. We didn't have any car trouble. Got here all okay. With love to all, Alita and Emery. Now that's a neat card. That's a really neat card. Yeah. So now we got Boots and Julie. They're in Orlando, Florida. It's April 12, 1988. Arrived here today at Lake Buena Vista at Comfort Inn. Only nine months old. Called ahead from Van Skyhus for a reservation. Staying three nights. Have free shuttle to and from Disney World and Epcot. It is 68 now at 6.30 p.m. We'll be in low 70s tomorrow. Enjoyed our visit with Jack and Sue. They showed us all around Fort Lauderdale. They have a pretty condo. Begged us to move into one near them. Imagine that. Ha ha. Love Julian Boots. I wonder what the meaning of ha ha is there. Yeah. And the picture is Mexico World Showcase. Within the ancient pyramid, sail the river of time, enjoy traditional entertainment and cuisine, and shop for handicrafts on the plaza. I love how ancient's in quotes. Yes. Well, here we are down in New Orleans. It's 1967, and we're on Bourbon Street. Sometimes known as crazy mixed-up Bourbon Street, this famous area of the French Quarter is a must for every visitor. Here you can find the finest of Dixieland jazz, as well as nearly any kind of nightclub entertainment you might desire. That says a lot. Hi, Sheila and George. Greetings from the Mardi Gras City, which is a fascinating place. We left Ottawa last Saturday and are on a 23-day bus trip to Florida. We arrive in Daytona Beach the day after tomorrow and will be there for almost two weeks. The flowers are in bloom here and the weather is getting warmer around 70 degrees today. Best regards, Kathy and Harold. All right, this time we find Julian Boots and they're in St. Augustine, Florida with a postmark from the Kennedy Space Center, April 26, 1990. Hi, we're here in Titusville, Florida tonight and tomorrow morning and going to the Kennedy Space Center for a tour before we go on to Lake Buena Vista. Spent last night in Savannah, Georgia and stopped in St. Augustine, Florida today and looked around. Saw things on the St. George Street that we hadn't seen before. The weather has been warm and beautiful. Temperature was 81 degrees today here in Florida. More later. Love, Julian Boots. The mystery of St. George Street, they hadn't seen what before? I know, right? Yeah, and that was a mystery. Here we are in Aberdeen, Scotland with a beautiful reflecting bridge. Postmark says 23 May 53. Dear Francis, left Edinburgh last evening for Highlands. It is really beautiful country. Give my love to your girls, and I'll soon be back again to say good morning at 745. Love, Audrey. Kind of sounds like a nanny or an au pair. It does, doesn't it? Seattle Art Museum and Volunteer Park, 1947. September 18th. Hello. Are still among the living, having a grand trip and feeling fine. We'll be here another week and then to California as ever. Mrs. Somebody. I wonder if they weren't among the living where they'd be. Kind of hard to write a postcard if you ain't among the living. We'll be right back. 